because I'm a glutton for punishment. Right next to, uh, I forget what it is, Road to Ale, there is Yellow Hammer Brewing. interesting person in the world and people oh, right next to a restaurant oh that's why huh. <laughs> What we got here is kind of a, a little bit of novelty. They're just a brewery here at uh, Gilbert. But the beauty is right next door, through those doors, is a brick oven pizza place. So they can offer like a brewery and have like limited health kind of uh, deal. You know, they don't have to have all the licenses or whatnot. Well, they do, but they can kind of like mooch off each other. They're obviously independent operated. They're independent of working on a mutually exclusive kind of like cooperative contract. It's a good deal. Works work. I, I'm sure. I hope it works really well for them. I mean, I, I love the idea. And the, and the fact that like right out those doors, and I'll go out them later, is uh, Road to Ale. And in between them is a big, I mean, this is this is just absolutely gorgeous. What a great setup these people got here. And this is their Kolsch, uh, T minus. Oh, I'm hoping there's, uh, I'm hoping they're yelling at T minus because it's refreshing as hell. Very refreshing. Um, it's got like, I would say like, think of Budweiser, just more flavor. Yeah, it's, it's just like, it's got this kind of like chill to it that I can't really put my finger on. It kind of makes you feel a little cold. It kind of hits on that same nerve. But as it is, oh, good to do like some people watching. And this is why I travel. Ah. Whew. This town is, this town is definitely, I did not expect to be staying here. And I am very glad that I did. What we have here an honest eye. This is their pale ale. I kind of like the idea of the pale ale because I haven't really visited a place that had a pale ale. Basically, it's um, you know, pale ale doesn't have the hops like uh, like an IPA, so it doesn't allow you to hide defects or just go straight hopomatic. But it does allow you to like uh, uh, kind of uh, experiment with more hops than a normal ale would have. Well simultaneously going with like higher alcohol or whatnot so this is this is an easy drink this is a this would be a stalemate they should bottle this and actually set it out because this could be like a good beer that you would like to just sit down and just drink like two and just call it a day it doesn't have much of that ale profile but it's crisp clean medium body it's got a kind of like a nice kind of little citrusy there. It's an easy uh, uh, taste that you're just not going to really be that upset about. I mean, this is this is truly a big stalwart, a big medium brew ale that you can really just enjoy, and I like it. That's good stuff. It's not a not a huge beer that's going to knock you on your ass or. You can easily have like a six pack of this and just be feeling the pain. <laughs> well, I got a pretzel because uh, I didn't want to get one of the really, really flatbread pizzas. I mean, their pizza is like 
like really thin crust, like cracker thin. So I went with the pretzel. And a nice little pale ale to kind of to go to Kaboot. I figure the pretzel with the mustard will work out better than uh, just a really flat pizza that I don't think I would enjoy eating. Plenty of brews on tap. And over there is the uh, concert hall. They all have concerts here. Over there is another brewery, uh, like uh, Rotale or something like that. Well, I guess they have picnic benches. They have open container laws, so you can't bring beer beyond this fence. You can see the extremely thin pizzas. Yeah. A lot of good beers here. I mean, if, and if you're in a fan of the thin crust pizza type, this place would be up your alley. I'm just not a fan of that stuff. You got plenty of exterior seating. <laughs> the dogfish head is out of place. Actually, a lot of these are out of place. God, I've been to a lot of brew pubs. Okay. <laughs> But all in all, it's a good place. Uh, it's a good place if you're like a hopping or really kind of looking after like, going out to a number of places. It's a good place. Um, this is your stalwart. I don't know if this is a stalwart, I would call it. Personally, I would kind of go on the route of... Uh, this is a nice good hopping off point. I mean, the other place, the uh, Roadhouse to Ale is, 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 is really better. I like that. So, oh well, each their own. If you like this place, it's all well and good. I only got through a couple beers, so see if anyone uh, finds something better. But all in all, it's not a bad place. Worthwhile. And keep going. The pretzel was good, though. But the pretzel was good. <laughs>